Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, welcome to the Garso Twins. I'm Carly. And I'm Britta. And if you like this video and any of our other videos, we'd really love it if you would subscribe so you don't miss out on any of our future videos. Today we're going to be doing our favorite skincare products under $15. I think we may have done this in the past, but we just felt like it was overdue. We've had a lot of like new discovered loves mm -hmm. in the past like year or so, so we just wanted to mention them to you because we love affordable skincare. Okay, so I wanted to start with two Vanna Cream products. The Vanna Cream brand in general, I literally love everything they yeah. make. Um, I don't even know who I first heard about this from. Maybe Dr. Dre even. I don't know. Yeah. But the face wash is my holy grail face wash. It's the Vanna Cream Gentle Facial Cleanser for sensitive skin. It's $9 at Target. It's free of dyes, fragrance, masking fragrance, lanolin, parabens, formaldehyde, and other preservatives. Sulfate free. It's, um, it has like the eczema certification on it. It's so good. It's the only like um, uns like fragrance free, free of all this stuff type face wash that still has some cushion to it. So I feel like it still removes that residue while still leaving your skin moisturized. Mm -hmm. You guys, honestly, I've been trying, what is that, that Kors Yogurt Greek Cleanser that everyone mm -hmm. loves. They sent it to us and I've been trying it and I still prefer this one and that one's like pretty pricey mm -hmm. if I'm not mistaken and I still love this. This is my favorite cleanser. Nothing has beat it so far and it's under $10 mm -hmm. which is insane. And then the other product I love from them is the Vanna Cream Moisturizing Skin Cream. Yeah, this is so good. This too. one's, it's like a super thick moisturizer. You can use it on the body, but I use it on the face. This is $8. I've used it on the body before though when I try Because is this one that comes in the pump? Too. Yes, yes. So I think they have a larger size so you can use it on your body, but I, like Dr. Dre always talks about how products like this you can use on your body and your face, and I was always skeptical about it. I'm mm -hmm. like, ooh, I don't know if I would use something like that on my face. Like, usually body creams are a little thicker and maybe could clog your pores, but I haven't found that with this. This is so good. It's not comedogenic in my opinion. It's super moisturizing. It layers well with SPF. I love this, and actually these are both empty. They're in my empties bin, and I need to repurchase both because I've gone through so many. I like use them both constantly in my rotation. Okay, um, let's see. We can talk about Versed next. Okay. I think I only have one here. I have one because a lot of their products are more than $15. Yeah, they are. So Versed is a brand at Target, so very easy to access Yeah, and economical. Um, this is actually one of their like brand brand new products, but where that um, packaging so cute. I know I got it a little dirty. We're um, on the Verse Skin Squad, mm -hmm. so uh, they sent it to us as a preview. So we've been using it for a while now, probably like two or three weeks. Um, even well, though you've been using it, I haven't yeah, tried it yet. Even though it just it. launched yesterday. Oh, did it? Okay, I think yeah. so. Yeah. Um, so it's the Verse to Backup Plan Acne Control Body Mist, and I think this is right at the fifteen dollar mark. I wrote it down. Probably. It's like is, I said, most yeah. of the things I feel like fall around 17. Yeah. It's $14.99 and you know this is still skincare, it's just for your body, so I wanted to mention it because I think it's my favorite first product yet, which sounds so silly, but it's amazing. Um, it's 2% salicylic acid acne treatment, um, with also it has tea tree oil and witch hazel, and it's in a spray, which is non aerosol, which is amazing. Yeah, that's um, a really nice sprayer. It's such a nice sprayer. That's actually for the, the price point. Yes, I totally agree. I don't know if they got this component from, but yeah. it's such a nice bottle and sprayer. The output is so nice. Can I spray it? Uh, be careful with the couch though, because it's an acid. Okay, maybe I won't, but yeah, don't. Just trust me, you guys. It has such a nice sprayer, um, like I said, non aerosol. And basically, um, I had a lot of like back acne like two months ago. It's it's subsided now, but it's still kind of there. And I had to buy like salicylic acid and sulfur bar soap. I think I talked about it in one of our favorites videos. Um, and that worked, but I wish I would have had this yeah. because I've still been using it because I've still been struggling. I think it's just summer, you know, yeah. your skin kind of gets clogged back there. Um, and it is so effective. So basically what I do is I usually like put this on at night, um, just like on my back and like it's so easy to spray. You just spray it on your back and your neck. I do my chest as well. And then it is a little sticky, so I let it sit for probably a minute before putting like my shirt on and you can feel it on your body. Like, I don't want to tell you that this is like a weightless product that you can't feel, but it almost feels moisturizing and like I said, a little sticky, but it doesn't bother me. Like, I go to sleep and I don't think about it, and it is so effective. Like, it just dries up zits in like a day almost. I mean, you use it like two days in a row, and I've seen huge improvements 
And I think it's an amazing invention because yeah. you can't really reach like your back. You like, also probably wouldn't put 2% salicylic acid on your face, so it's nice to have something more concentrated exactly. for the body. Exactly, and I've tried um, like salicylic acid um, lotions thinking like, oh, this will be such an easy yeah. fix. But I actually feel like those clog my pores more. So this is just such a good invention. I truly am so impressed. It's very effective. Like I said, I love the packaging. Um, I love how easy it is to use. The only thing is that it leaves your skin a bit sticky. So I would not use it during the day. That's my only call out. I would definitely use it like before bed. Okay, and then the other Verse product I want to talk about is the Verse Look Alive Hydrating Plumping Mask. This is $10. I love this packaging, by the way. I know some people might think it's cheap because it's like a little pouch, but I think it's so travel friendly and it's so easy to store. Like if I just had these masks, yeah, you could just stack them up and it's so easy. Um, and it says you get 12 applications. I think you could get more than that. Um, this is so nice. It is actually so hydrating. I feel like it's immediately cooling on the skin even though I don't keep it in the fridge. It just feels really nice and like thick and hydrating in the best way. I don't even know how to explain it, but I feel like my skin does look more plump after I use this. I'm really interested to try their brightening tightening mask, that like clay base. They one. also, a part of this acne collection, just launched a sulfur spot treatment that yeah. we're dying to try, so we definitely want to pick that yeah. up. Yeah, in general, we really like a lot of their products, but mm -hmm. I just, we had to mention, we had to pick these two because yeah. they're under the $15 mark, but we could do, we did a video when we first tried them, but now they've launched so many new things, yeah, so that's true. We should if you guys, video. Yeah, if you guys want like an updated versed favorites let us know but these masks are really good the other ones get really good reviews too i just love this because i have really dry skin but the brightening tightening one gets i think like the best reviews mm -hmm. so i want to try that one too um but yeah i just love the packaging love this product so good Okay, next we're going to talk about some products that you can buy on Amazon. Um, first, I'm going to talk about this cleansing oil that I've talked about multiple times, but I actually just repurchased because I realized I can't live without it, so I had to include it in this video. It's the Sof... I don't know how to say this. Softimo Speedy Cleansing Oil. I think Softimo is the brand, or maybe it's Kose Com... Um, she'll link it below. Yeah, I'll link it below. But yeah, this is a brand new bottle, like I said. Um, I just repurchased because I realized that a lot of, especially being in quarantine, like a lot of days, I don't wear any makeup, but I put sunscreen on. And um, I don't know if you guys know this, but the best way to get like sunscreen off is an oil yeah. base. Do a double cleanse, like an oil base, and then um, like a normal cleanser. If I just use a cleanser, it won't really like take off the mineral sunscreen. So I was using my Pharmacy Green Clean to take off like just sunscreen and days of makeup, um, but I didn't want to waste that because it's very expensive mm -hmm. and it's just it's not it's pretty thick. So what if I'm just trying to do like a quick cleanse, it doesn't work. But this is perfect for that. It's a very very fluid oil. I think it's mineral oil based, which has worked for me. It doesn't irritate my skin at all. Um, it's super effective at removing makeup or like I said, just like a days of sunscreen and dirt from your face. Um, I love that it has a pump, so I just keep it out and just do a quick pump. Um, it emulsifies really nicely. It's just a really, really good cleansing oil and I believe it's $10. I wrote it down. Um, I think it's ten dollars. Hold on. Well, Amazon prices change sometimes. Too, That's true. So. Okay, it's, it's around ten dollars. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely. Um, and it lasts me a while. I think I've been through three or four of these, but it's awesome. Highly recommend. Okay, and then another product from Amazon that we both have. I know this for sure is under ten dollars. Right I want to say under eight. I think it's like. Like eight dollars. The top of mine's so dirty, so I'm gonna hold it like this. Um, it's the De La Cruz Sulfur Ointment. It's 10% sulfur, which is like an OTC level. Yeah, which is what oh, the yeah, but the new Verse product is too. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Terry has joined the party. If you can see him. Um, this I mean, like I've never used so salicylic acid. I feel like for a while was like you know, the number one self or acne well, and benzoyl peroxide, but I am highly I think we're allergic. Past, I think we're past that. Yeah. I don't know I anyone know. that People like it, but I don't know. Um, so sulfur, um, salicylic acid, I feel like works really well, but for whatever reason, sulfur has worked the best. It's a miracle ingredient. It's so crazy. Like we use this as a mask. So you kind of just, you can spot apply. Like usually I use this on my forehead cause that's where I tend to break mm -hmm. out. Um, and I just, you know, leave it on for maybe like 10 minutes. Yeah. And I have then a lot it's of breakouts really, now. I'm going to do it tonight. It's really thick and the smell is repulsive yeah, for sure. Which I think is why people use alternatives, but sulfur is natural and it's yeah. so effective. It's so effective. You just leave it on. If you do it like twice in a row, like two days in a row, I feel like your acne will be gone. Like it's incredibly effective. So if you ever see, um, you know, like anti-acne products, make sure that the level of sulfur is like around 10% mm -hmm. because I feel like that's the 
it'll be the most effective at that level. But this we found is amazing. It's so inexpensive. One of these lasts me such a long time. Me too. I almost like, I feel have, like I should buy a new one. I have a backup because I oh, like okay. it. Yeah. Like I just love having it on hand. But it's so good and like Carly said, it's natural, which is mm -hmm. always nice. Okay, I think this is my last thing from Amazon. It's my beloved sunscreen, which I'm kind of having a panic attack because when we went to film this video, I went to link it on Amazon and Yes Style as a backup, and it says sold out and like not available on both sites currently as we're filming this. So hopefully it comes back in stock, but I have to talk about it because it's my daily love of sunscreen. And it's the Purito Comfy Water Sunblock. It's $15.99, so like a dollar more than this price bracket, but um, sometimes you can get it on sale. It's phenomenal. It says SPF 50, PA++++, UVA and UVB, 70% water-based, um, non-sticky, no white cast, um, and 100% physical, non-nano sunblock. Um, I think the main ingredient is zinc oxide, I believe. Um, it's so good. It feels like water going on your skin. It doesn't leave a white cast, in my opinion, and I've watched a lot of videos um, where they have like tested it on deeper skin tones and it seems to not leave a white cast either So I think it could work on everyone. Um, it just feels like a drink of water because it's 70% water based um, It dries down really nicely to more of like a matte finish Which I actually really like with mineral sunscreen so then I can put like a dewy foundation on top and it doesn't kind of like it doesn't make you too dewy because it's more mattifying um, sometimes it pills with certain skincare, but I look past it because this stuff is amazing. It's my favorite, favorite facial sunscreen. Okay, speaking of sunscreen, I actually do get this on Amazon, so I guess this would be an Amazon. Mm -hmm. I think it's right around $15. I actually didn't look it up, but it's definitely less than $15. I okay, think. yeah, mine right? is a dollar more, but oh, I, now I still I'm included second it. Oh, second it. Either way, it has to be close. Let me look it up. I'm oh, on Amazon. It, what is the fill weight on this? Oh, two fluid ounces. So I actually just repurchased, which now I'm like, thank God, because I don't know why it's sold out and unavailable um, because I'm at the bottom. But this lasted me so long, um, which I feel like they should just make sunscreens at least two ounces because you go through them if you wear them daily on your face so quickly. Yeah. Oh, did they? I'm like having a d difficult time finding this. Oh, Is no. Is this it? Do they just sell it in a two pack now? Hmm. I don't know. Looks like it. Go, go with it. Oh, okay, so the one... It looks I hate, like... I hate technology. It looks like guys. $15. Okay, I think it's $15. She apologizes if it's not in our bracket. Yeah, but I think it's $15. This is the CeraVe Hydrating Sunscreen Broad Spectrum 30 Sheer Tint Face. It's a mineral sunscreen. It's tinted. I've talked about this before. I love it. It has titanium dioxide 5.5%, zinc oxide 10%. This is my favorite sunscreen because I do really like that it's tinted. The color is a little weird. Like it works for me best in the summer because it's a little dark um, in the winter, but I just like that if I'm not wearing makeup, it adds a little bit. I don't want to say coverage because it doesn't add coverage, mm -hmm. but it definitely helps like even out your skin tone. And so I really love that it is hydrating. Like Carly said, hers dries down matte. Mine stays pretty dewy. So I do like wearing it under um, makeup because if I'm using like today, I use the, um, L'Oreal Fresh Wear Foundation, and that one is a little bit more matte, so generally I like to have more dewy base if I'm using like a matte foundation. Um, so I really love this. I feel like it's lasted me quite a while for the price point. I mean, it's 1.7 fluid ounces, so it's not huge, but that's the general size of like a foundation. So yeah. if you use something like this every day, you're going to go through it a little quickly, but for the price point, it's so good. I love it. I can't believe it's like under $15. I think mm -hmm. it's amazing. Okay, and then quickly wanted to mention another CeraVe product. Um, in general, we like their products, but now they have such a range. Because in L'Oreal, buy them. Oh, someone a big conglomerate right. bought them, and then they just expanded their range like crazy. So they have so many products now; it's kind of hard to keep up. But the sunscreen's my favorite product by them. But this has been a staple for so long. Years. It's good that I had to mention it. It's the CeraVe PM Facial Moisturizing Lotion Ultra Lightweight. This is actually my boyfriend's. I like stole it from his part of the cabinet because I am not using this at the moment because I'm trying to get through some other moisturizers. But I always have one of these because I just feel like it's. It's like one of those face moisturizers that you just always need on hand because it just doesn't do you wrong. No. Ever. It won't clog your pores. I have the perioral dermatitis. <laughs> it won't 
won't clog your pores. It is super lightweight, so it works for all skin types. And I, you guys, it's a know, gel base, so it really does work for all skin types. Yeah, you guys know I love niacinamide. That's like my favorite ingredient as of late, and that's pretty high up in this ingredient list. Their ceramides, like all CeraVe products, it's just good. It's mm -hmm. just a really good moisturizer under fifteen dollars, I think. Yeah, it definitely. Yeah, okay. Is. This it one might is. be right up there. You but get three ounces. It comes in this cute little pump. I feel like it could last you half a year. I'm at looking least. at that now, and I'm like, oh, I should repurchase that. I know it's good. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, a miscellaneous product for me is this Neosense Squalane. Um, I talked about this in a video previously as well. Um, basically, when I was researching um, dupes for the Biosense Sugar Cane Based Squalane. This came up is the same, like basically it's the raw material supplier and they sell it on this site, Lotion Crafters, um, and it has the same inky and everything as the Biosense one, but it's like a fraction of the cost and it's my favorite squalene I've ever tried. I've depotted some or like poured some into a little dropper that I use daily, but I wanted to show you what it looked like. It's 1.7 ounces and it's $7 and it is yeah, it's mind crazy. blowing. Um, it is thinner than olive base. Um, squalanes in my opinion so I really like that I feel like it soaks in better I use this day and night like every single day um, I still have a lot left and I just really love it it's such a nice facial oil again squalane I think would work for everyone but specifically this one because it's that sugar cane based I feel like it's a bit thinner and it just works so nicely um, with mixed in with skincare it's so good Speaking of oil, my favorite face oil is organic tamanu oil. I've spoken about this before, so I'm not going to harp on it. This is exactly like $15 on Amazon. Um, I think this is like my second or third bottle because I use it almost nightly. In the summer, honestly, I don't use face oils as much because I'm just like, yeah, I only yeah, use the squalene because it's so thin. Yeah, and this is a bit of a thicker oil, but it does still somehow soak in really well. I just feel like it helps to really even the complexion and it really builds up your skin barrier. So for me, like right now, I'm back on Retin-A, so I feel like my skin is drier, so I've been using this more because it helps to like repair the skin barrier and keep it healthy and plump and not destroy it. Um, and I just love it. Tamnu oil, just Google it. There's like lots of benefits to it but I just find that it works really well with my skin everyone's skin is different I mean we should have prefaced this whole video with that mm -hmm. we have like dry combination skin in the summer yeah probably um, but this works really well for me okay next up we have to talk about the ordinary you guys know they're so affordable in the land of affordable skincare they're probably like number one everyone yeah. loves them um, we have well I have two products um Britta I only have that one so you can talk about them Okay, so the first one is the Ordinary AHA 30% plus BHA 2% Peeling Solution. It's this uh, raspberry toned mask. Um, it's I'm like, oh, mine's almost gone. Oh yeah, I'm surprised mine isn't because I use it all, all the time. Um, but it comes in a dropper because it's very fluid and basically you drop it on your face. Oh, um, you drop it onto your face? I don't like it touching my hands because oh. it kind of burns. Hmm. I mean, I do end up, I don't know, I guess I end up okay. blending it in with my hands. But you can drop it on your hands or on your face, whatever. Um, then just blend it in to create a thin layer, nothing too heavy. Um, and you do not let it sit on longer than 10 minutes. It is strong, strong, strong stuff. Do not let it sit yeah. on too long. Um, and it's a chemical exfoliator, so it basically exfoliates your skin. It's We only both use it once a week because mm -hmm. it's so strong. And we prefer chemical exfoliators to physical. Yeah, we do. Um, but it's so effective. It gets rid of any like dry skin you have. Um, it brings breakouts to the surface. Like It is just extremely effective. I want to say it might be as effective as like prescription Retin-A. Well, it's you, just just a different, you just can't use it all Yeah, the time. it's just a different like, type of product, yeah. but it's super effective. Yeah, like for turnover of your skin cells, it's just very effective, um, and I think it's $7, so I think it's $9. That's oh, okay. is it? That's okay. okay, it's under $15. It's always sold out. Um, and then the other ordinary product that Watch, I... it'll be 8 I know. This one is 8 okay. um, The other ordinary product that I love is the Ordinary as like Acid Suspension 10%. This is another ingredient that Dr. Dre um, speaks about often on her channel, and again, I always bring this up, but when I had perioral dermatitis, I couldn't use like any actives, but as like acid is actually like, it's like pregnancy safe mm -hmm. um, for being an acid. Um, and it just, it has so many benefits while also being really safe for sensitive skin. Um, so it was like the only thing I could use when I had that and it helped with that and it helps um, fade dark spots. It helps even your skin tone. It helps with breakouts. I think it's another a miracle ingredient that is way underused. Um, and 10% is like, I don't think that's OTC level. I think you have to go stronger. Um, so there's only two on the market that I know of. This one and Paula's Choice at 10%. 
Um, and it's just very effective, like I said, at brightening, um, getting rid of breakouts, uh, kind of like the same thing, kind of like getting rid of like dead skin cells. Mm -hmm. It's such a good ingredient and I highly recommend it. This is another one that's always sold out. Yeah. So if you see it, I have like backups upon backups. Um, it's just a really good ingredient and I hope it's used more in the skincare world. Okay, now this video is super long, but I just really quickly want to mention the Good Molecules Niacinamide Serum. I don't have it with me because I told you guys that I tried to repurchase it, it was like sold out everywhere, so I went with the Natrium Niacinamide Serum, which I love, but that's over $15, <coughs> so not for this video, but the Good Molecules one I think is only $6, and I love the consistency of it. It soaks into the skin. It's not too strong for my skin. I think it's 10% niacinamide, um, maybe even more, maybe 15%. I forget. I'll link it down below but it's so good. Good molecules, actually, we have to try more things from them. I know, I actually love their ultra facial, ultra hydrating facial oil as well, but I like the scalding more, so I didn't wanna like make this video too crazy. Yeah, but I had to mention that because it is under the $15 price point. It's super effective, yet gentle. I think it could work for all skin types. If you just wanna like clear some texture on your skin, even out your skin, make your pores look smaller, look smaller. They can't actually get smaller, as people say. Um, I just think it's a really good product. Okay, um, then with some random favorites, yeah. um, Aquaphor, we just wanted to touch on this because uh, we think it's a miracle. Uh, this stuff is the best. It's called a healing ointment. It is not natural in any way. No. It's basically petroleum, um, but it's so good. I don't know how they do it. I recently bought this little tube size at Target. I think it's But perfect. we also, we only like the tubes, not the jars, because it's super unsanitary. If you think of how thick it is, it's very thick. Yeah, mm -hmm. like it's just icky to use the jar. So yeah, go for the tube. But love it for like chapped lips, chapped um, cuticles, mm -hmm. just everywhere. It's Elbows. Phenomenal. Um, and then this Coco Kind My Matcha All Over Moisture Stick. We used to get this on their website, but now it's sold on Target. It's only $9, I think, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. um, I've been using this forever. I'm on my second one. I went through a full stick. I use it on my under eyes like every single night. And then I also throw it on my lips pretty often. Yeah, I do it's too. It's a really good lip balm. Um, again, this is kind of one of those like all over products that you can just put on any dry areas. It's very natural. It's just coconut oil. Um... What else? Coconut oil, beeswax, and matcha tea leaf powder. But something about the combination is really great. Highly recommend this. Okay, I think that's it. Sorry for the long-winded video. We really love skincare. We really love affordable skincare. As we get older, I feel like we've realized you don't need to spend an arm yeah. on a leg on every single skincare product. Of course, there are things we love that are more expensive, but there's, as you can see, there are so many good products that are mm -hmm. under $15. This is the majority of our collection. It is. It's the majority is like more affordable. Mm -hmm. um, so we wanted to share them with you guys. Please let us know your favorite skincare products under $15 down below, and we'll see you next week.